Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Mike Up Savages. I'm here with Murph, and today we're talking about the Yankee sweep. You heard that, Murph. I said sweep of the sweep, Baltimore baby. Orioles. We take those. We take those. We take so, those. game one, Garrett Cole on the mound. Everyone's saying that he needs to come back. What does he go out there? He shoves. Complete game, baby. Complete game. Complete game. Two hits, one walk. And K's. Couldn't ask for a better start from your boy Cole, especially double headers where he's had two previous. Like, if he starts the double headers, but yeah, this was huge every way possible. Keep the winning streak going. You messaged me saying uh, I'm a little worried about Cole. You know, double header, not really. <laughs> that, you, you listen. You can't do that to you. What is, what's your problem? All right, listen. <laughs> I was just saying because he's not great in double headers. Like the previous two double headers, he's been bad. And I and I just thought it was one of those things where like maybe he has to rush his routine, especially if he has to pitch the first game of a double header. He has to rush the routine. He doesn't necessarily get in the groove like he wants to. And maybe that had something to do with it. Or maybe he just wants to complete, have a complete game. Right, and just complete shove. And maybe he was getting ahead of himself in those previous starts. But, yeah, he comes out and shove. How dare you, sir? How, how dare you? <laughs> they were also rocking me out. the uh, NY, uh, FBNY and NYPD hats. That was pretty awesome to see. Those were lit. Those were lit. DJ Homer to lead off a game again. Driven to left field and deep. Going back is Mountcastle. On the track. At the wall. See ya. A leadoff home run for DJ LeMayu. Gardner homer. That one's driven deep to right field. Stewart back, turning, looking. See ya. A two-run home run for Gardner. And, and Higashioka, baby. Gary who? Gary <laughs> who? That one is driven to left field and deep. Mountcastle back. He's on the track. He's at the wall. See ya. A two-run home run for Higashioka. And the Bronx Bombers are out this. <laughs> that old boy. Love to see it. Yeah. That was absolute domination, game one. Love to see it. I mean, I thought Cole may have come out of the gate a little bit slow because, you know, he had the, the day before where it rained. Um and rained out his start, but, you know. Thank God, by the way. Thank God for that rain. Really. That was that lineup we were going to put out the game before. Yeah. Atrocious. <laughs> Atrocious, <laughs> dude. I was going to vomit. That And this lineup wasn't any better, mind you. This is, on paper, this is not a good lineup just because of how the season's going thus far. I don't think there's ever a situation where Gary and Higgy should be in a lineup together, especially when you got a guy like Wayne who's not very good. And Taku has been slumping, but he had a really good game. Three for three. That a boy, Taki. Yankees win. Six nothing. Absolute dominance. Tanaka game. starts game two. Gives it the first – was it first run in the first inning? Mm, I want to say. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, I was like, oh, no. Here we go. It was a home run. Five innings later, three hits allowed, five Ks. Sessa dominated one inning and – Krisky, welcome back. You do that again. You never know. You may find yourself on a no, minute. No, no, I, I, I know. No, that's that's a no. That's a go back. I'm trying that's to be positive. No, 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 no. There's no positivity. There's you shouldn't have even been up in the first place. We had a well rested bullpen. I don't know why he's our twenty to twenty nine man. It's ten to one. Give the man a chance. <laughs> Bro, it doesn't matter. This man should not be up in the major leagues right now. There's a well-rested lineup, or a bullpen. Yeah. There's no way this dude should have been called up for the 29th man. Whatever. <laughs> I, I guess Whatever he works, win. dude. <laughs> well. Never again, though. Don't, don't you ever say <laughs> he get a spot. He's not getting a spot. <laughs> not in my book. <laughs> Luke Voigt homers twice. That one's driven deep to center field. Mullins back, still back, on the track, at the wall. See ya! Into the Yankee bullpen. A three-run shot for Voigt, and the Yankees lead 7-1. to one. Joins, <laughs> baby. joins Mike Trout at the top of the leaderboard for home runs. Trout who? Driven out to left field and deep, going back Mountcastle. He's on the track at the wall. See ya. Mike Trout has company. 16th home run for Luke Voigt. 
Another three-run shot. Six RBIs, two. Ten hits as a team. Two hits for DJ. Three hits for Voight. Two for Torres. Bro, Torres is starting to heat up, man. And it's, it's going to get – Glasses Torres, baby. Bro. Glasses Torres. I'm telling you, he's squinting at the plate the whole time. And now, now he's got the glass. His eyes are wide open. He's seeing hey, balls like they're beach hey, balls right now, bro. Hey. Two for three on the day with the Ruby. That a bullet. All I got to say is another dominant game, man. I, I couldn't have asked better a better doubleheader. Yeah, two complete games. Both yeah. Starters come out, shove. Bullpen comes in, shoves. That's it, does his thing. Brooke Grisky. Apparently, your new found favorite. I see no, you over there. Bro, I'm looking at his jersey and hang it like right over here. <laughs> <laughs> you and Krisky over there, love affair, you know. But the offense showed up big for us. <laughs> yes, indeed. Ten to one, yeah. Yankees win. Oh, Monty in game three. I was a little nervous, not gonna lie. I was as well, only because you know, Monty really needed a good outing so badly. Like his previous two were really bad. His second one, not as bad as his first, obviously, but still not what we expect from Monty, and he comes out and he deals. And I think Booney actually did him dirty and took him out way too early, way too early. I think he could have he could have gone seven. Mm-hmm. Nine Ks, though. That's Career a big high. number for Monty. Career high right there, nine yeah. Ks. And he, he was like – he was getting nasty on some of the hitters. It wasn't just blowing it by him. It was yeah, – I was very, very proud. He had 72 pitches, and that one run that, that scored wasn't even his fault. I mean, it was unearned, yeah. Yeah, to be to be nitpicky, like, Gardy doesn't fumble that ball. Monty gets out of the inning, and that run doesn't score. It's still yeah. a one nothing ball game. I saw someone even tweet that said that he shouldn't have been out there in that situation. I'm like, what do you mean he's shoving? Like, but, you know, if the stat line shows that he shoved, and that's all that matters, and we got the win that day. But, yo, bullpen, Green, Britton, Chapman, and Holder, straight shoving. No runs. Chapman shit himself, bro. I'm telling you. I'm going to play the clip right now. No, I told you not to say that. He did it. It was a legend. He had to. A legend. (laughs) I think think, here's what happened. I think he took a gamble on a fart. Didn't go the way he thought it was going to (laughs) go. And then afterwards, he took off. Did you see that? After he comes to the dugout, the Brandon says, He just ran run. down the tunnel. He didn't high five nobody. Strike three through a slider, throws a Baleka, up, and Chapman works a one, two, three inning. The Yankees have a chance to win it in the bottom of the ninth. He said, Ah, thanks, Gary. He just took Wait, off. Yo, the did you see when he struck out the guy? He was like, and I'm like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> he was going to do his stare down. It's just stereotypical. Like, but anyway. <laughs> like, I pooped my pants. <laughs> Gary had a hit too, bro. I was very uh, – uh, was it a, a double, I think? I yeah, say. it was off the wall, definitely. Wow. It was, it was a pretty big hit. One of his better hits of the season, let's be honest. But, you know. Maybe good things to come. I don't know. He's starting to see the ball slightly better. I still think it's that if you're a starter and you're not throwing him a, a fastball this high, I don't know what you're doing. Like, yeah. He swings at it all the time, every year. You don't need to throw a ball in the zone to him. No. To be quite you honest. Throw, you can throw three right here. You can yeah. get all of them. DJ had that clutch double. Voight had the walk-off sack fly. Um, another RBI for him. It gets to the point, Murph, where I'm saying, like, is Voight really going to get votes for MVP this year? Yes, but he will definitely not win MVP before yeah, you go but, any further. No, no, I'm just – I'm like, how – how like, you think he gets a good portion of the votes? Uh, I don't see how he does, especially if he can pull it off and, like, come above Trout in the home runs. Yeah, I, I think – Clearly not definitely. enough to win. But I'm just no. saying, he is in the consideration. He's, in he's the, definitely – he's got the average. He's got the on base. Um, RBIs and homers. RBIs, homers. So he could definitely get a good portion. He will definitely be on like at least the second team. All definitely, time. definitely top five. Yeah, for sure, top five. I'll give you that. Yankees win the game two to one. Huge. Game four against the Orioles. Hap on the mound. Another quality start from the trash can. J A Hap. Why? Why? <laughs> 
You well, have to doubt him so he does good every week. <laughs> I think that was a little much, though. That, was, that felt I'm personal. sorry. That felt like Five a innings for, 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 for the not-so-good J.A. Happ. There you go. Uh, one earned over five, five Ks. You had Ottavino shove. Holder came in to get him out of it. Um, Green one inning. Britain one inning. Chapman one inning. And that's all on, like, back-to-back days that they pitched. So it's possible, Yankee fans, that the bullpen can go back-to-back days and do well in back-to-back days. Yeah, I think awesome. the other part was just them being so rested, just giving, getting them off their feet. The starters have really been clutch as far as the last eight starts. They've pitched to like a 1.9755 case. So they, they've really been doing their, part, their job, doing their part. And uh, it's really helped the bullpen get back on their feet. It's huge, huge stuff. This, get, this series, though, out of the 10 innings, 10-point-whatever innings, zero runs allowed by the bullpen. That's a good sight after that Toronto series, after the Toronto series. After Especially after spot. game two, right? Game two. Yeah. 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 Um, but, again, Torres had a rest, rest day, and, of course, he comes in and drives in the winning run. At his arm, 97. See That's from the driven in the right center often. field. That is going to be a base hit. It splits the outfielders and goes to the wall. Hicks will score. Here comes winning run. with glasses, dude. Yes, glasses, Glaber, man. He's what can I say, Murph? This series is big, huge, huge, huge. And then we got reinforcements on the way. Glaber, I mean, uh, not Glaber. Geo and uh, Loisga supposed to come back Tuesday, and the big men. They might be coming back from Boston. You might be seeing him in Fenway. I'm very excited. That's huge least. stuff. Huge. Because I'm just, again, you sh- we shouldn't, again, this season, we should, of course, be beating the Orioles. But with the way that things were going and the way that things are going now, I'm very happy for the series. A little bit overly happy. But, you know, four big wins for the Yankees. Was that five games in a row? Five games in a row. We're going Putting- streaking. <laughs> <laughs> No, Putting I, up some questionable lineups, though, I will say. I I think the Yankees – this is a good series, good sweep, but I think the Yankees need to stop with the resting. Torres definitely should have been in this game the whole time. Clearly since, didn't need it. Yeah, I mean, he definitely didn't need it. Comes in a clutch situation, and he, he even said he prepared like he was going to start. So, yeah, we got we got to get out of our own way in a sense. We got to stop resting guys when there's no need, especially when we have an off day tomorrow. Like, why are you resting Torres when the off day tomorrow makes no sense in my mind? Um, yeah, just we have to be putting out our best lineups from here on out. I don't like. I guarantee you, the Yankees are going to do the same BS when Judge and Stan comes back. They're going to play one game and then sit the other game. Play one game, sit the other game. Like, let's, yeah. like, we got to focus up, dude. We got to get ready. Playoffs Lock in, get weeks. ready for that playoff stretch of baseball where you're in, you're playing, you got to be playing every single day. Exactly. So, because if you're not going to play like you're playing every single day, then there's going to be a problem and you're not going to win games. You got to come out every day ready to play. I don't I don't care if you're feeling a little sore, you got to come out and play. That's exactly. it. It's enough time of, it's enough of soft baseball. It's time to go out, go out there, even if you're hurt a little bit. So, overall, Murph, I'm – very thankful that I did not. This weekend was very, very good. Very, very good. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Good managing by Boone, too, this weekend. Yeah. Other Included, than the Monty thing, I'm yeah. pretty happy with it. Yeah. Well, thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Chapman did not shit himself. You can't walk it back. It's too late. You already said it. Yeah, I already said it. I'm ending the video now, so I said it. I said it. <laughs> What's your problem? What? <laughs> Have a good one.